Hey guys, passing through Mobile, Alabama. Decided to make a quick video on a subject why it's not worth going to Texas if you are from the East Coast. Uh, so, why I think it is not worth going to Texas is because while you might be going there for two dollars a mile on the way back you're gonna have a very hard time finding a load that is a dollar a mile let alone a dollar fifty or more so the situation was I went to Texas for I went to Houston from Charlotte to Houston for two thousand dollars load about 7,000 pounds took me a day and a half to get there now keep in mind this is towards the end of the week so I delivered on Friday morning and since I do my own dispatch basically I was driving and looking at the load board for two days two and a half days um, that I was driving actually the day and a half but day and a half I was driving and then uh, Friday I was looking the whole day and there was no loads whatsoever like there would be like little partials coming out here and there paying what 45 50 cents maybe 70 cents a mile um, and that's something that you know it just if you think about it if you think about it your total amount that you earned after diesel because it took me 380 bucks to get from Charlotte to Houston that's 1,070 miles so minus 2,000 well I don't pay this back so that's what I made $1,600 clean that's $1.50 right and then if you drive 45 50 cents a mile back that means you're driving 80 cents total round trip but uh this particular load I'm hauling right now is a monster truck that one of my good buddies, uh, see I have truck stop, but he he has truck stop and DAT board. And this is the load that he uh, kind of tipped for, uh, tipped me on it. And I ended up picking it up going to Norfolk from Houston for $1,600. So that's a dollar, dollar 21, give or take. So I come there, this thing is like 8.8 .8 high, and uh, and the owner of it, he's like, you have to tarp it. Now, the broker said you didn't have to tarp it. And since it's Friday, late Friday, and everybody's already closed, the, the broker who sold me this load is already closed, you know, I had to tarp it. It took me about two hours. They also said it was gonna be about 17 feet long, turned out to be the full 30 with all the stuff that they loaded which you know kind of got me a little fired up because I was supposed to pick up another uh, small car going with it but now that I now that they took the full 30 I had to cancel the car uh, so that's the situation you know um, I'm driving a buck 20 back so maybe it's gonna come come out to like a dollar $25.30 round trip uh, which you know is a big big disappointment because of the miles that I did this week so I went from Charlotte to Florida from Florida back to Charlotte which was deadhead 500 miles and then I went from there to Houston and back so that's about 3,400 miles I did uh, where it's going to be about 3,500 miles with the Norfolk run and uh Maybe this is what whole week I made a dollar, maybe twenty-eight dollar thirty-five in that range. That's after diesel. I mean, you know, that's the situation uh, in uh, in that aspect that um, that going to Texas, it's okay if you have a round trip. Let's say you picked up at the shipper, you take it there and take it back for the same rate, make four or five thousand. But if you go there. It's, you know, it's kind of like 
that candy store. You go in there trying to buy it, and then you know you end up that you just waste money and time because I, I probably could have went from Charlotte to Massachusetts for the same amount of money and with less miles, and then picked up something from Massachusetts going to Chicago and made a dollar extra, you know, on all those miles. But I, I ended up burning, you know, almost a full week on the road and only bring, you know, bringing dirty about forty six. $4,600, which in the modern day, that's, you can count, that's what, 33, 3,300 miles, or 3,400 miles, give or take, divided by, uh, <coughs> divided by 4,600, well, 4,680, but I'm also going to try to get another 100, that the fact that they made me tarp it, so, 40, so 47, um, Guys, this is just a video that I that I made. Why I think it's not worth it, but have an incoming call. Uh, thank you for watching the video and have a great afternoon.